Hi guys. Next up in our F1 2021 setup videos is Canada. I was gonna leave this track till last due to it being pushed back in real life, but due to the sheer amount of requests I've had from you guys about getting this video out, I thought I'd jump on Canada straight away. Canada is without a doubt one of my favorite tracks to race on in F1 2021. So I'm so glad it's made its way into the game despite being canceled in real life. Before we go any further, just check out how good this start is off the line. Don't think I've ever nailed a start this perfectly. Just like Austria, Canada is an extremely flowing circuit with the majority of corners being fast chicanes. To be able to put in a strong race performance here, you need a car with an extremely stable rear end, which allows you to accelerate through and out of the fast chicanes. Now jumping into the aero, to ensure we have good downforce at the rear of the car, I've increased the rear wing setup to nine and kept the front wing at six. You don't need too much front downforce at Canada, as there aren't too many spots where you'll find yourself understeering. Plus too much front wing will increase our drag and slow us down along the straights. Then for the transmission, an on-throttle diff of 78 is a good balance between ensuring we have enough drive through the faster corners while not being too high that we encounter too much wheel spin out of the slower corners such as the turn 10 hairpin and the slow turn 2. I've kept the off-throttle diff at 60 just to ensure we get a little more rotation into these slower corners. This helps recoup some slow speed rotation that may be lost with the lower front wing aero setup. My suspension geometry setup is very similar to the setup I use at Austria as both of these circuits have very similar characteristics. Go for minus 2.8 and minus 1.2 on the camber and our usual toe setup of 0.07 and 0.2. For the suspension, I've gone extremely soft as you'll be all over the curbs throughout a lap of Canada. If you stiffen your car too much, you'll have an extremely hard time with stability loss. So go for two and three on the suspension setup. Then I've gone for an inverse anti-roll bar setup with stiffer front ARBs at seven while keeping the rear at six. Many setups in F1 2021 opt for soft front anti-roll bars with stiffer rears. While this approach does help the car rotate a little more, it will also make it much twitchier on corner exit. So to ensure we have good stability throughout a race, I've gone for a slightly stiffer front anti-roll bar setup. Then set the ride height at two and six, which is just about the sweet spot for ride heights around Canada. For the brakes, opt for our usual approach of just lower than 100% brake pressure at 98% and a brake bias of 56%. This is just about the perfect brake setup in F1 2021 and is universal across many tracks. Then for the tyres, I've lowered the pressures at the front to 22.2 for a little extra softness at the front of the car and for slightly better tyre life and I've kept the rears high at 22.7 for outright performance. And that'll do it for our Canadian setup for F1 2021. This will result in a car which you can really push throughout the entirety of a lap and a full race distance and you won't need to worry too much about the car being twitchy throughout the fast sweeping corners. As always, if you enjoyed this video, drop us a like and leave a comment below, let me know how you get on. And why not subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell to be alerted when our next setup videos drop. See you on track guys. DRS is now enabled. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. 